Dr. Osmanov is one of the professor of the University of Kiel. For the past 10 years, he worked relentlessly to make his field better than before. Those are represent, representing a house made of house and now he has So we are here in Kiel um, uh, and uh, the subject I want to talk today is about why you are doing the, you know, Kadeva lab, yeah. the way you are doing now. How long has it been? So, uh, first of all, thank you very much for coming. Actually, Kiel is the end of the world. <laughs> and I want just short to tell you a very funny story. Dr. Wilson um, asked me, where is the Kiel? It's, it's in the middle of nowhere. But now, after 10 years and so many years we are doing these labs, we are in the center of prosthetic urology mm. doing a cadaver labs. The mm. reason for that, I think uh, the surgeons learning anatomy only in the medical school. And uh, well, they have knowledge, basic knowledge in anatomy, but it's, it's basic for the surgeon to know uh, anatomy. And uh, this is unique opportunity in our lab to learn the anatomy in association with the prosthetic urology because we prepare the specimens which describe the uh, anatom anatomical landmarks for the implantation or uh, which can help us to understand the mechanism of damaging or mechanisms of injury or complications. So, and I think it's very important for both young urologists who are on the way to start their own practice, even for experienced one, because I always learn something new, um, even doing the same things each year uh, during these courses, I always learn something from uh, our senior mentor, Professor Wilson. Dr. Wilson may, made more than 15,000, maybe 20,000 implants in his life, and because as we discussed today during the surgery, there are very small things, how to put the stitch, but it's so important because the rules in the surgery are written with blood. and. And that is why I think it's very important for all doctors uh, to go back to the roots, to learn anatomy, and it will be really helpful in the daily clinical practice. I heard that there's a, your uh, cadaver lab every year. The cadaver is prepared as something different. Yes, so we have, there are a lot of possibilities in the modern anatomy, how to preserve the corporal uh, tissue and bodies. Or we call it not cadaver, we call it body donor. Why? Body because donor? the people donated their ah, own body understood. in a volunteer way mm. uh, to make, uh, to help us uh, medical doctors to learn anatomy and mm. students. So it's a donation program mm. in Germany and it's a, a great privilege. And uh, as I said, there are um, a traditional way to fixate this body using formalin or formaldehyde and using this secret uh, fixation, fixation of the bodies which is uh, invented in Kiel mm. by Professor Wedel, mm -hmm. we don't have any smell and during the surgery on these cadavers, excuse me, body donors, you feel like being or operating on, on, on the real patient. Oh. So it's, it's um, very similar to the real condition in the OR. Why do you think this is important for well, the surgeons and the, for mm. the trainees? Were you able to see the differences after the courses, or yes. were there any responses or remarks yes. from the uh, uh, surgeons who trained? Well, because if you're in a routine situation in your hospital and you want to start penile implant surgery and uh, maybe did five cases in your life and thinking to do more, you would have problems uh, to identify, to to make the anatomy of the penis or of the um, surgical site clear for you. And it really helps to come back to the anatomic uh, basics, to the roots, to understand the anatomy, the normal anatomy of a human in that area uh, to make the surgery. And an um, important factor, I think, which I wanted to tell you, the speciality of the keel is we have uh, the chair of the anatomy, the dire director of the anatomical institute, Professor Wedel. He was a surgeon, so mm -hmm. he he uh, see the anatomy with the eyes of the surgeon mm -hmm. and uh, he knows what is important he knows what complications are and he has so much passion and he loves what he is doing 
that is another factor which is important because if you have everything but don't want to do it and do it is because you have to do it, it will not work. And he is very patient surgeon and anatomist and uh, this combination makes kill different in this laboratory spatial. It looks like, you know, it has been a long way, right? Because it's a different from the other anatomical, you know, uh, body donor, you know, studies or body donor settings. You and uh, Dr. Weddell had to create something out of nothing, or you have to create something new, which is a different thing. And usually when you try to do that, there comes a lot of difficulties. Was it yeah. right? It was not easy to organize these courses, uh, first because of uh, finance, we are academic, mm -hmm. and we have no budget for that mm -hmm. reason. And what we did, I asked him, he didn't want to do it actually in the beginning, and I asked me, please let me do some uh, preparations because I want to know, learn penile anatomy better. Oh. I'm a surgeon, and that's, I think, what could help me uh, to catch his heart because he said, ah, oh, really, you want to learn? Mm. Then, you know, I can give you a key and you have only possibility to, to work in the evening. I said, perfect, I will mm. do it in the night. In some uh, years, I was working even on, on uh, Eastern holidays and uh, I was amazed from the quality of bodies. It was for me like uh, uh, visiting a rock star uh, concert. And then we developed um, the strategy, well, I developed actually the strategy to win Dr. Vettel, Professor Vettel, and, uh, and he was agree after that with me that it could be interesting for, not only for me as an implanter, but other implanters and doctors to learn more about penile anatomy. So, and we created the first course, which was together with life surgery. So we did one day life surgery and a second day anatomy, and then uh, our students or participants ask us to spend more time for hands-on and less life surgery because you can uh, watch the videos on VGPU and other um, possibilities to to watch the life surgery and we spend more time with anatomy so that that is the reason why we have two days anatomy but, instead of one. But why? <coughs> Daniel, yeah. why yeah. did you want to share? It's a, you work that hard, right? You work. You have to work with you know, fixing the you know body donors and the easters and uh, some holidays while they don't, while the others don't. But even so, you decide to share it with the others. Why? You know, Sean. The, the question my wife asking me all, all the time: Why are you doing that? <laughs> Actually, I, I don't know why. I mean, I love to do that, uh, and I, I I can answer this question. But uh, on the other hand, um, that's what makes me happy. And if this can help, help our patients and our doctors to make the surgery less dangerous for the patient, well, maybe this is the reason. Is it um, reasonable to understand or what I'm doing? I, I'm not, I am not sure, but I love to do it. Do you think that you learn something while you do the training? While I'm doing the training? Yeah, mm -hmm. like uh, cadaver courses. And now you have a fellow as well. Yeah. Having a fellow is a good thing. Sometimes it's not always a good thing, right? You yeah. have to train them. You have to spend more time in the OR. But even so, many good surgeons were doing it. Uh, personally, I believe they are doing it not just for the, for the trainee, but for themselves as well. In terms yeah. of the surgical skills or you can learn something. from. I was able to learn something from the trainee every time. Was it same to you? Yes, uh, I learned, of course, I learned something new during each case. So mm. after each case, mm -hmm. I knew a little bit more mm. about the human, about the anatomy. And of course, if you have trainee or fellow from the other medical school or other style, um, or surgical style, it is interesting because I'm traveling around the world in many countries and it is different to see how they work, how the organization and uh, different ways of uh, disinfection and uh, how to prepare the instruments. Now, all the things are very important for me because I can maybe see their mistakes, maybe to understand something which is working not good in the hospital, in uh, my own hospital, to improve it. And I think I learned a lot of uh, things from the trainees.